Hey, it's Adam Savage, and I am talking today about catching lightning in a bottle. Specifically, the idiomatic phrase, catch lightning in a bottle, which is supposed to mean something impossible. This made it a perfect subject for GE's Unimpossible Mission series, in which they sent GE scientists to a lightning testing facility where they were successfully able to catch lightning in a bottle and use that energy to start a car. How do they do it? Well, with capacitance. What is a capacitor? A capacitor is a method for storing energy, and the earliest capacitors used two plates like these pieces of brass with a certain insulator between them, and you were able to load current in with a battery, and it was able to store that current and release it when you wanted it. How does this affect you in your daily life? Well, your average point-and-shoot film camera uses a capacitor to fire the flash. See, in this circuit, this one and a half volt battery does not have enough current to fire the xenon flash bulb. So it loads what current it has into the capacitor, which dumps it all at once and fires the flash. Now, the capacitor they used to catch lightning in a bottle was much bigger. 1,500 times the amount of energy is stored in this puppy, which is called a supercapacitor. Now, what can this do besides starting a car? Well, that's the next part of this video. This little guy holds a tremendous amount of power, 7,500 joules to be exact. GE uses capacitors like this for high-powered medical scanning technologies like MRIs because of its ability to store a lot of energy, to output it quickly when needed, but also because it charges with that energy many times faster than a battery. That last fact may mean that the car of the future is powered by capacitors and can charge in seconds or minutes as opposed to hours. But don't just listen to me talk about the Unimpossible Mission series, Lightning in a Bottle. Click on this link right here and check it out now.